comprehensive news coverage for the University of San Francisco. This is News 35, your campus news and information leader. I'm Kayla Kuhn with News 35, and today I'm with Father Provet, the University of San Francisco's president. We're going to go over exactly what he does during his work day. So if you had to describe what your job is and say one sentence, what would you say? My job is to take care of the university in all of its many aspects. So most of my days are meetings, meetings, and more meetings. For the school students, that uh, not only for giving something to Africa, but also you should be healthy. And right, so you yeah. eat healthily, but you also raise your awareness of yeah. the situation of hunger in, yeah. in Africa. That's yeah. great. This is great. So what do I do? What do you want me to do? So, so, so we, we, are, we are asking, so, so, so far, uh, so many school, so we would like to ask you to uh, support. There you go. This is great. Since your job is a bit different than other universities' presidents, given that our school is a Jesuit institution, how have you found the balance between religion, business, academia? Like, how do you? Well, the major difference is I don't have a wife and kids, so that's the, <laughs> that's the main difference for me as a Jesuit. Uh, I mean, I do the same thing that any university president does. Now, how I understand what I do may be quite different because I've come out of a faith perspective. But what I do looks just the same. I mean, I raise money, I, you know, convene groups to explore strategies and tactics. I work with the Board of Trustees to formulate general policies for the university. I do all the stuff the university president does, but I think I see it very differently. So I see this as a contribution to the creation of a better world. I see this, the pursuit of truth and justice as God's work. A lot of people don't. They just see it as good work. That's fine. But I think how you understand what you do makes a big difference. So I think what I do is pretty much the same, but how I understand it is quite different. What's your favorite part of the job? My favorite part of the job? Mm -hmm. Well, I, actually there's very little part of the job that I don't like. I mean, I like being the spokesperson for the university. I like being able to get out into the public and tell USF story because I don't think the story is very well known. I think the university is far better than most people know. I don't enjoy uh, conflict resolution, not my favorite part of the job, but... I'm not going to like this and I'm just repeating myself. You're not able to engage in conflict. Oh, yeah. That's what we saw in the world! How do our teachers not teach if you don't tell them? Right? Is there anything to add to Again, I'm not going to add to You made that agreement! You made that agreement! You signed it on the slope and you're not fine. So kind of along those lines, when controversial things do happen or decisions are made, do you feel like kind of all of the heat is on you as a spokesperson <laughs> for the university? No. Or how do you deal with that? No. Uh, well, here's my theory. So I, I'm ultimately responsible for making the decisions. I never claim to be infallible. I don't even claim to be right. But I'm the person who has to make the decision. I make the decision as best I can, and then it's water under the bridge. People can... You know, and I tell them, you know, you may be right, but I don't see it. And as long as I'm the guy in charge and, and I'm the person who has to make the decision, I got to make the decision that I think is right, not the one that somebody else thinks is right. So I don't lose a lot of sleep over controversy, whether it's KUSF or whatever, you know. Tomorrow morning, well, there's a four-hour league meeting so that all of the, the presidents of the league we meet twice a year to set policy and direction for the West Coast Conference. Is and that's tomorrow. Is your day mostly consumed by meetings? Is that normal? Or is Pretty that much. Just yeah. Lots of meetings and asking for money. You should have been here to film me exercising in the morning at 5.30. I suspect you weren't up. How are you guys? Good. What were you talking to the people at Occupy USF about? I just see how they were doing, what was going on. I told him I would not be spending the night with them. What do you see yourself doing 10, 15 years from now? <laughs> 10 or 15? God, I'll be <laughs> in a wheelchair in a rest home somewhere watching TV. <laughs> I have no idea. You don't have any plans? Do you want to travel around after? No, I don't, we don't have, I don't have the money to travel. No, uh, I'll, I'll figure that out. When I finish here, I'll have a time. I'll have ample time to figure that out. I'll, you, generally, you'll get a, you know, six months to a year to retool. 
uh, and prepare for your next assignment. So that at that point, I'll have the opportunity to sit down and forget. Right now, I'm too busy running your university. <laughs> <laughs> How do you watch USA? I've never watched USF TV. Oh, they're uh, bad. Yeah. Oh, it's one thing to not yeah, read the Foghorn. It's another thing to <laughs> not watch I USF actually, TV. I actually, I check out the Foghorn. Um, we, you can watch us on Channel 35 or USFTV.org. Channel, oh, USFTV.org? Yeah. Can USF you rebroadcast stuff? Yes. Oh, okay.